Hey guys, welcome to another weekly vlog, my journey to Charawera. This week is the big week of training before getting ready for a taper and race day in three and a bit weeks time. did uh, focus on getting back to some sustained uh, fast running with the uh, 5k efforts in the on squad uh, relays and a three hour run. This week we uh, extending the, the long run so a four hour long run and um, that's going to be our biggest long run before we reduce the long runs and uh, turn up at race day knowing how to run long. Although we uh, focused the week on our long run, started the week with some uh, more fitness building. We did a uh, run at the beach because um, a lot of the uh, national parks were closed due to fire bans. I ran with uh, Nat to start her uh, continuous uh, effort run along the beach and I did a fartlek session, 20 minute fartlek, the minor fartlek. So you start at 90 second efforts and um, finish with 15 second efforts. Uh, so you go shorter efforts as you get more tired so you can keep the pace up. So just the way to introduce some speed again and did that before my long run on Wednesday. I went to Sturt Gorge which is similar elevation to Tarawera, a lot of single track. Found it quite hard going with uh, being out there for four hours, so it was a, uh, a exercise in um, in fueling. So practicing the fueling because I was running at my uh, my training pace or my ultra pace. So um, yeah, found it quite difficult. At 26 k's, I fell over, um, tripping over on a rock. Found it quite difficult to keep going, but just slowed the pace down and um, found myself feeling okay after I'd had a gel a bit later and managed to get through uh, nearly the marathon distance in four hours. Friday, another run, Happy Valley Reservoir. Got to meet some of Nat's friends, and uh, that was good to do a, just a lap of the Happy Valley Reservoir in about an hour. And then uh, Saturday is uh, Nat's uh, four hour mission. So we're doing that at the moment, Mount Bold. tail track uh, all the way to the end and then uh, from there you can go out on the road for 500 meters before joining the Heisen Trail and we uh, did the first uh, section of the Heisen Trail just past the dairy and back
along the ridge here. So we did this run with our full uh, race gear, so carrying a lot of warm clothes even though we don't need it. And uh, you can see I'm experimenting with carrying my stuff in a belt and then using handhelds. And at uh, 50k where there's a bit longer between aid stations and a big long hill, I will be uh, putting on my pack uh, from there, which I'll get from a drop bag halfway through the run. So after Nat and I finished the four hour runs, we both felt quite confident um, that we could uh, run long on race day, but also taught us some humility because it was uh, it was, it was tough, you know, the, we realised that if we went out much quicker than, or even the same pace as our long run, it would get very difficult. So it's good to go for these long runs and work out sort of what you can handle in the way of uh, pacing. But to uh, finish off the week, I uh, did a uh, session to get some leg speed. I haven't done much in the way of speed training you've seen over the last few weeks I've been introducing some faster running mostly far leg sessions but this morning was a a set of 400s you know very uh, easy recovery so the interval was 45 second rest between 400 meter effort and uh, yeah did eight of them with a break after four where I did a, a 400 meter jog recovery uh, just to make sure that I was still getting them as quality um, efforts. Again, I'm not gonna be able to do super fast because I haven't run super fast for a while. Good session to get the legs going and get used to running fast again. Finishing off the day, we're doing an easy, uh, 5k but we've chosen to get some elevation in by going up a big local hill and that makes for both of us quite big uh, training weeks and uh, we get to taper from here because it's three weeks until race day